My name is Yahoko Asai. Um, I'm the Regional Inclusion Technical Coordinator in the Middle East uh, program. Uh, so my role is to cover uh, Egypt, Palestine, uh, Lebanon and Jordan. And mainly I'm supporting the project on livelihoods. So the methodology I'm using is um, not necessarily I developed, it's already like a HI has the uh, specific methodology to promote the inclusive employment for persons with disabilities. Um, so many people with disabilities in the Middle East countries, uh, they don't uh, have uh, access to uh, rewarding or meaningful uh, employment. So the HI is conducting several projects uh, to support them achieving the goal to uh, have a meaningful work in their life. Uh, so to do this, um, the methodology that we're using is the two um, interventions that we're doing. One side for the person with disabilities, first to understand what their um, background in the visual characteristics, um, the internal the aspirations for the work, professions, family's condition, and those different uh, elements of the person. We need to understand what the person wants to achieve you know, the, their future goal through the employment. And then on the side of the employers, we also understand their business background, uh, vision for their business uh, development, uh, staff members' capacity, the work itself, what is the work environment, physical conditions, the actual task conditions. So to understand those uh, conditions on both person with disabilities and the companies uh, on each side. Then uh, HS provide the personalized uh, support for individual, the person, as well as the company that this person wants to work. Well, definitely the um, certain level of uh, self-esteem from the person with disability is necessary, unless the person really wants to work. And then unless the family is also understanding to try to support, it is very difficult to maintain or retain the work. Uh, then it will end up like a short and less meaningful work and then they may just uh, getting some small salary for the work that they don't really like and then they may quit soon. So to empower the person that he or she really wants to work, he really wants to do this job for their you know, the future goal, it's very important. So this will take really a long time and there, there has to be a very personalized support. Not just one time, but really continuous, like a one month, two months, sometimes it will go beyond. And the other condition is, again, from the employer side, that they also uh, need to understand the value, the benefits of hiring people with disabilities and not only the benefits for their business, but the actual capacity or the abilities of the person with disabilities who can work, who can contribute to the business. So both uh, understanding the conditions, I mean, would be the conditions to make sure that the job matching will be appropriate and also the retention of the person with disabilities in this specific job can you know, be uh, sustainable. Well, because um, it is still a new um, methodology or the interventions in the Middle East, uh, it's, it's very good that the, there are several projects starting, but because it's new, we have a limited human resource who can support such a personalized uh, approach. So definitely um, we need to work to build the capacity of the people, identifying the different NGO, the civil society organizations, or the employers who are willing, committed to promote the employment, and then build a network among those uh, stakeholders, entities, so that they can together uh, solve the problem. So that will be uh, the necessary recommendations, yes. Mm -hmm.